Today we're going to talk about transportation energy policy with a focus on biofuels. Biofuels are the future fuels in energy policy. Hydrocarbon-based fossil fuels that are currently used for most purposes contribute to global warming with carbon dioxide. In addition, fossil fuels have limited reserves that may last 35 to 70 years at current rates of consumption. McLaren, 2005 Biofuels are intended to replace fossil fuels because they burn more cleanly and are a renewable fuel source. Examples of possible alternatives to fossil fuels include ethanol, biodiesel, hydrogen, methanol, and synthetic diesel. At present, ethanol is the biofuel that is produced in the greatest quantities in the world and widely used. The top 10 nations that produce ethanol are the USA, Brazil, China, India, France, Russia, Germany, South Africa, Spain, and the UK in that order. Brazil is the second largest producer of ethanol worldwide. Ethanol is produced from sugar cane, which is grown extensively throughout the country. Sugar cane produces ethanol for much less of the cost than corn does, due to the lesser amount of processing required to extract the carbohydrates for fermentation. The United States is the largest producer of methanol. The main crop used by the United States is corn, which can produce ethanol from the processing of corn stover and corn starch. Some of the benefits that proponents of ethanol have indicated include decreases in carbon emissions that currently are a worldwide concern. Gasoline blended with ethanol has decreased carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide emissions. Ethanol is non-toxic water-soluble and biodegradable. Bioethanol has the problem that even though the substance itself has carbon neutral emissions, the processes of production of bioethanol are not carbon neutral in themselves. So the effect of reducing emission at the level of the consumer is counteracted by the increase in carbon emissions by the producers. It is disputed whether or not the entire process of producing ethanol is a net gain or net loss of energy. Some have claimed that ethanol uses 29% more fossil fuel energy than it produces. Lockheed, 2007. Included in that process is the energy considerations of how the fertilizers such as nitrogen, potassium and phosphorus require fossil fuels for the extraction and application before even being involved in fertilizing the soil for the corn to produce the ethanol. Others have said the entire analysis is misguided and that uses outdated and obsolete data as well as incorrectly ignored co-products, which if applied correctly show that ethanol is a sustainable resource that produces enough energy to make it worth the process. Farrell et al. 2006, Shapuri et al. 1995. Both sides make arguments and counter arguments for what factors should be included in the consideration of whether or not ethanol has an energy ratio of better outputs than inputs, or if it is indeed the opposite. Although, with government policy having already been decided and many researchers supporting the switch, the question has been said to be what should we make ethanol from, rather than the question of should we make ethanol. Biodiesel is another alternative fuel that would be easily renewable. This type of fuel can be produced from vegetable oil such as soybean oil, palm oil, cottonseed oil, rapeseed oil, or sunflower oil. Poser, Santos, and Suarez, 2007. 
or it can be produced from animal fats. Biodiesel is an attractive alternative fuel because it can be produced from waste cooking oil, which until recently simply thrown out. The U.S. Department of Energy estimated that up to 50% of diesel could be replaced with biodiesel. The United States produces 100 million gallons of waste cooking oil per day, Yang et al. 2007, which instead of being thrown out, could be recycled into a fuel to power vehicles. Hydrogen appears to be a long-term solution. Hydrogen can be produced from power sources that the United States already has, such as solar power, nuclear power, energy from biomass, and wind power, Cherry 2003. It is also a fuel that will reduce the amount of greenhouse gases because the only byproduct of the burning of hydrogen is water. One interesting thing to be careful of would be the fact that energy consumption may go up with any of the cleaner fuels like hydrogen or ethanol because people feel that they no longer have to worry about polluting when that issue is taken care of by the companies for them. While there may be improvements in transportation, there still is some contamination in the production process, so it may be best if some method is instituted to keep energy usage down even when the vehicles themselves do not emit as many contaminants.